I bought this dartboard like a few months ago when Sam was kind of like in the middle of his concussion and he was, wasn't doing so well. Um, and I was going to Chile for a week for a free ride event and I thought I'll buy him this like as a present so that he can kind of like practice his motor skills I guess but in like a relaxed way um, while I'm gone. And then it turns out it's actually like the dogs are obsessed with it. He literally doesn't care about the bike if I'm, if I'm throwing darts. <laughs> Even just saying the word will like just froth him so hard. Darts! Does! Yes! Does! <laughs> there you go. I moved to the UK, I think in 2015. I like, I was racing down her World Cups and I would always come to the UK and kind of ba base myself here whilst, um, whilst I'd like go around Europe and race and stuff. And then I'd, I'd always come back to the UK and then fly out of here, hop back home to New Zealand. Um, normally I'd like sell my bike to fly home, but sold my bike and I still didn't have, still didn't have enough money to fly home. So I just stayed here. Um, and then I've been here ever since basically. And I used to like, when I, when I was growing up getting into mountain biking, I always used to watch um, like the OG British riding films and I always wanted to ride rut tracks. It was like my absolute goal because it looked like the most fun thing ever. So as soon as I moved to the UK, I like found a hill with bracket on it and I just built ruts. And since then, it's just, I've been just been hooked on the feeling of riding like these short little trails that you can just session. Um, you can get a crew out. You can just ride like four or five turns in a row. And it's so much fun. <laughs> favorite thing to do on a bike just ride these rut tracks they're so easy to build like it's just the best day out you can literally spend all day and not get bored um so yeah i love it and i'm just continuing to do it and i probably will never stop <laughs> but when i started riding for fun and sessioning i felt like my skills like just progressed massively um and then i started enjoying different aspects of riding like the sessioning part of it i, I started enjoying jumps and like learning how to jump learning how to do little tricks so I found, I found like a massive love for um, a different type of riding. So I've had an interesting off season. I've been like pretty much a full-time trail builder. The weather's been really bad. Um, so there's not been much riding going down, but we've been doing so much building anyway that we've not had time to ride. But it's been so cool because throughout the whole winter, we've known that around this time of year, we're gonna get to reap the rewards of what we've built. All the graft throughout the winter will hopefully pay off and it'll be a sick summer. Basically, literally since I can remember, owning land has been my dream. Throughout my life I've like spent a lot of time digging trails and not knowing whether they can, they're allowed there. <laughs> um, which is like, I think everyone does that. So it's just nice having your own spot, which you know no one's going to get mad about. Um, and you can just like build the kind of stuff that you want creative. You've got creative freedom to build and ride whatever you want. Three or four months ago, me and Sam bought this bit of land. And we've been busy ever since, like planning out what we want to build, building, um, fixing things that the weather's mashed up basically. Um, and we're like about to have a really sick jump line. We'll just think about features all the time. I'm constantly like, just like pumping out ideas. And Vero has the same and we sort of just bounce our ideas off each other until we come up what would be the absolute dream for what we wanted. Um, sort of both our imagination comes together to create a line that I can imagine and she can imagine equally, you know. Um, yeah, we both have a vision of what we want and it's being able to just spend time thinking about it enough that it all comes together. Yeah, at the moment we're building stuff that we can like train and ride on and just session on with the crew, but the end goal is down the line to be able to have something that 
the younger generation of riders can come and ride and progress on and um, hopefully one day we'll be able to have some jams here and stuff like that so yeah at the moment it's like in its very early stages but yeah hopefully there'll be some cool things to come out of it. Ever since I started riding in my teens I've always went to the gym um, not because of riding but because it's something that I really enjoyed and then I find they kind of like come together to create a pretty sick combo for being strong on the bike. So obviously like over the summer I don't get to go in the gym much because I'm out, I'm traveling a lot and stuff like that so um, kind of towards the start of the winter I just start building my strength back up and then when I'm feeling strong I just continue to push myself basically. Nothing too specific, just something that makes me feel strong and keeps me dialed I reckon. You know to see what Vero's done over the years from the start of you know that was the first time I really kind of got to know her and I've done various you know projects with her over the years now and it's you know to see her grow into the person she is and the rider she is now it's been amazing um, you know we've had a small part in helping her along I, I hope um, you know she's always been every everything we've done with her she's always been really hands-on wants to get involved you know she's digging as much as we are kind of thing so i think that's that attitude she's had's really you know helped to get to where she is now and you know she's always off doing stuff isn't she she's always grafting so literally some of the best memories i've got on this hill have been on, on this bit and then probably some of the most painful memories and then a couple of worse as well I think <laughs> yeah, but that such is life people kind of like congregate and just send vision I and think that's certainly been one of the things that's been amazing how many people ride it hasn't it yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean like, yeah. like I said there's just so many people and probably people who thought they never were yeah. going to ride it as well yeah. isn't it I come here there's huge sessions going down like everyone's brought their mates they're all setting the line hitting new features like feeding off each other and like just so much hype has, has been cultivated on this line so many people have learned new tricks there's been like amazing edits people come from all over the world to write it there's been like I think like an 11 year old girls hit most of it um, and then Tom who's paralyzed in one arm has come and just sent it it's just insane I'm so so stoked on what these guys have created and that. I'm just so inspired by him coming here and even just wanting to ride Vision. He's been through so much and he just continues to find ways to continue doing something he's passionate about, you know, like he continues to ride his bike and find, come up with ways that he can send it. We've just got a little sesh going down at Lucky Dip here. It's like the first sunny day of the year, so it's always extra hype when we get to ride this place after a long winter. So we've got the whole crew out and we're just doing some laps basically. It's been a minute. <laughs> Thank you.
And a sick set. First set of spring, or first set of the year really. And it's been insane. The whole crew was here, everyone was throwing down, sun was out. I think everyone had their own personal highlight. Like, fuck, the boys were all pushing themselves, learning new tricks, me too. Just too many highlights really. Wow, what a sesh. Everyone popped off today. Everyone popped off. Yeah, it's been a very wet winter. But wow, what a day. Yes.